Milwaukee. Um, the other part that you know can, you almost can't mention Julio without talking about Jared. What what do you think the effect is on him of a lot of the attention, et cetera, that has been on Julio Rodriguez? What what effect does that have on Jared Kelnick? Oh, it's probably two ways. You know, I, I think it's probably you know Jared having come through the ranks for the most part with Julio. You know, they they started at West Virginia together back in 2019. They've shared a lot of their moments together. Uh, obviously, last year they took divergent paths, and and JK showed up in the big leagues, and and Julio had stopped at multiple levels, including the Olympics. But you know, Jared came in last year with so much scrutiny, and you know everybody's watching. And obviously, it didn't go the way he wanted, but he finished strong. He came into spring training in a good place. What I appreciate most about what happened, you know, Julio was celebrated from day one. And Jared just went about his work in the background and continued to to do the things that I think are going to result in better results uh, for him. And and we saw during that last week, especially those last four or five games, it really started to click for Jared. And, you know, perhaps the, the fact that there was such a great focus on Julio allowed Jared to relax a little bit and just go do his thing because he's also a special player. And, and to see him do what he did those last three games, after it became obvious that Julio was on our club where we made that announcement, you know, Jared took it to a different level, and, and hopefully that's a, a sign of things to come. I would assume uh, that watching him, you were not only, you know, love seeing the power and everything else, but I, I, was, I was sort of reminded the way he hit those three home runs in three days, the first one to left center, the second one to more right center, the next one was pulled to right. I was thinking about watching some of the great hitters uh, take BP, and I used to sit and watch Manny Ramirez do this every day, and he'd start by hitting the other way, hitting home runs to right, home run to right center, home run to center, and he'd just work his way around the world like a, like a basketball player. I always thought it was the most incredible thing that I'd ever seen. And seeing Kelnick kind of, do you think getting that stroke going to left center allows him to start doing everything else that he's capable of? Absolutely. And it's something he was doing from the very first day in spring training. And, and it would have been so easy for him in the early going, you know, during the game schedule when he wasn't finding hits over there. It would have been so easy to just abandon it and try to start pulling again. But so much of his offseason was spent on just being easy with his stroke, focusing on left center field. And, and you look at the first half of our spring training game schedule and almost all of the hits that Jared got in games were all from center to left field. Mm. And, you know, which is not really what we saw last year. And that's what I say. I admire, you know, it, it, it's not like Jared is a long in the tooth veteran. <laughs> I admired his, his, his focus on sticking with what he knew was going to work. And, and ultimately it led to what I think, you know, leaving spring training is this is what Jared Kelnick looks like. And I'm pretty excited to see what, what happens over the course of a full season. 